Ivy, and today I'm going to be showing you how I did my um, goddess locks, my gypsy locks. These um, do have human hair on the ends, okay? This is human curly virgin hair. I put on the ends, and I also have it, like, throughout some of the locks, and I also have... Um, curly pieces just around here around the front you guys this style took me so long it took me a total of three days i could have did it in two days but i was getting lazy my feet started hurting because i stand up when i do my hair i don't like sitting down because it makes me move even slower i don't even know how to get this all in the frame it was a lot you guys but it was a pretty cheap style for me to do if you guys want to get into how i did it keep on watching Okay, you guys, so let's get right into these gypsy locks. So I was thinking, like, I need a protective style. I need something so I don't have to do stuff to my hair. I was actually going to do um, gypsy style braids, okay? But I opted for the locks. I was like, it should be easier, you know, faster to put in. So when you're doing these locks... <laughs> You want to make sure you pre-part and pre-buried your hair. So I went ahead and parted my hair off into like medium sections and um, pre-braided my hair. I pre-braided my hair the day before I started and um, I had a total of 64 braids, okay? I did 64 braids and you know when i was doing them i was like oh that's not gonna be a lot no baby 64 is too many i would suggest somewhere around 40 to 45 ish to 50 at the most i feel like when you do 60 65 i had 64 basically say 65 i feel like it comes out way too full if i took out half of these i would probably like like the style more because to me it's a little too full so don't do 60 braids okay i ordered these uh butterfly locks off amazon i will have them linked below and i really like the construction of these locks the ones from amazon definitely gave me um that bohemian distress look i was looking for and again these are a uh, 30 inch butterfly locks okay and i got them from amazon they shipped really fast and i got the pack of six i got those and i also got spring twist hair now i like to wrap with spring twist because to me it gives the best look it looks um it looks very authentic it doesn't give that overly silky look it still has like a nice texture to it so you definitely want to wrap with spring twist hair don't use that passion twist hair to wrap no locks okay and you also want to have human hair now i used some old curly hair i had on a wig and i just shaved all the hair off and that's what i use for this definitely be frugal like me i would suggest using an old curly unit you already got laying around you really don't wear no more just go ahead and cut that hair off and you can you know reuse it you can recycle it so that's what i did now to install them is super easy the problem with styles like this is that they're tedious it's not that they're hard it just takes a lot of time and a lot of patience to install it i'm just going to show you guys literally one lock because i have to get my hair done i don't have time to be doing super long tutorials so i'm just going to show you this one lock right here and i save this one right here on the side of my head okay so as you guys can see, this is a pre-braided section. And what I'm going to do is take my crochet hook and I'm going to go through my braid. As you guys can see, I'm not going through the root because I want to make this knotless. These are going to be knotless bohemian locks. So you definitely want to add your lock a little bit down the braid. This way you can really hide that knot. I went ahead and crocheted the lock on and then through the loop, I'm actually gonna pull my braid, my natural hair, I'm gonna pull that through the loop to secure it. I'm not gonna pull the lock through its own hoop because that will create a bigger um, knot. You definitely wanna take your hair and loop it through the uh, locks loop, okay? So once you have that in place and it's nice and secure, you wanna go in with your human hair. So I'm gonna show you guys how to add the human hair at the root. So you just wanna crochet it in and the part that you're gonna um, have exposed and hanging out, you just wanna move that out the way or clip it out the way. And the um, shorter ends, you just wanna leave that alone for right now. 
So once I do that, I'm gonna go in with my spring twist hair and I crochet this hair in as well. Now the reason I like to crochet it in because I just feel like it gives it a better look and it's a little bit more secure and it's not like hanging literally on your roots. It just gives you a little bit more security so your locks are a, a little bit more comfortable. So once you get that in, you just wanna grab your natural hair braid, the lock, you wanna grab the human hair and you wanna grab that all with one hand and you wanna hold it so tight, you guys, so tight. And then you wanna begin wrapping. You wanna give it like about two or three wraps at the base and then you wanna wrap down. Keeping the other hand really firm and keeping um, the natural hair, the faux lock, and the human hand, and the human hair all in one hand, and you guys hold it for dear life, okay? And as you're wrapping, you want to wrap super tight, you guys. Wrap tight because if it's not tight, all of your hair at the root will slide out. So make sure you're wrapping this part very, very tight. Once you're done wrapping that human hair when you don't see it anymore, you can kind of um, loosen up on the wrapping and just wrap your lock as normal. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I do the end of my lock and you're gonna need some nail glue. So how I do my ends is really easy, you guys. I just take the human hair and I put it at the end of the lock and I lay it on top of the lock. And then what I do is I twist it very tight and I keep it in between my um, fingers really, really tight, and I'm gonna take the glue and just drop it on top of the human hair. And then I'm gonna twist even tighter, and I'll hold that for about 10 seconds. Now, I do it like this so you won't have any shedding at the um, ends of your locks. So once that's dry, you're gonna grab some more of your spring, spring twist hair, and you just um, wrap one side one direction and the other side and the other direction. And you just wanna keep wrapping at the end until that glue is hidden. My ends came out so perfect, you guys. So definitely um, try out my method for your ends. I think it's a really easy, foolproof method. Also, when you're adding hair to the base of the braid like this, you just do it the same way that I did um, on the end. You just lay the hair against the lock, you twist, add some um, nail glue, and you just camouflage the area where you just added the hair. I hope that makes sense for you guys. Definitely go back and um, 
rewatch that clip. This was my first time, you know, installing these as well. So it's kind of hard, it's a little hard, you know, explaining it very, very good for you guys, but I think y'all get it. Basically, you just add hair at random. I didn't really have a specific method for how much hair to add. I, I did the curly ends on each lock and then every other lock, I would add like one or two pieces of, um, human hair on it so all the locks don't have human hair but some of them do like this one has it this one doesn't have it this one has it um this one doesn't and that one does so yeah i was just really random but you guys you want to be careful not to add too much hair i think i put like a little bit too much hair in it because because they keep kind of like sticking together i'm trying so hard not to remove these you guys because I don't know. I said last time I did um, my locks, I would never do them again because I didn't really like how they look on myself. I don't know, you guys. Let me know what you think. I'm going to give them probably two weeks. When you have to go back and actually wrap your locks. That's what make them like hella heavy. So I would redo these, but I would redo them like short, like really short because this is ridiculous, you guys. They are so freaking long. It looks like I have on a dreadlock cape or something like it's crazy guys, but they're extremely long and so full and it just feels like it's a lot happening on my hair around my hair right now i will link below everything i used um yeah i hope they grow on me you guys let me know in the comment section below how you like them let me know i can't wait to read you guys comments and see what y'all say about them yeah i kind of consider these a fail but you guys on Instagram asked me to show you anyway, so here I am. I really didn't want to film this, so it's probably all over the place. But, yeah, you guys, this is the hair. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you next time.